This is Carnation, and you are listening to What's Metal. Yeah, uh, guys, it's great that we can have a chat um, here at uh, Baden and Blut uh, mm -hmm. Open Air in, in, in Germany. Um, you only got onto the onto the bill pretty much in the last moment. Yeah, maybe you can explain to our listeners what happened there. There was a band, I think, the Monocle cancelled, and uh, we are on the way to Metal Days, so we had some spare time, and yeah, they booked us. So. It's easy for us because we were already driving to Slovenia, so yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. So, so did the organizers know that uh, you were coming through, or? I think our booker knew, and I think he works here. Yeah, yeah. So that's the reason. Yeah. Pay, pays off to to have some connections, right? Uh, so we haven't really introduced your your band on the show before, so maybe you can tell our listeners a little bit about uh, yeah what what the band is all about, yeah. Uh, yeah, we play death metal, uh, sort of Swedish style combined with American style. Um, they think it's good for the old school fans, uh, but we're trying to get some modern elements in there as well. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> you are, compared to me at least, you're still fairly young guys, I would say. Yeah, and I think the first release was in 2015, right? Yeah, it was uh, the first EP. The first EP was 2015, yeah, correct. So, so what kind of feeling was that to have your first release in your in your hands for the first time? Yeah, that was pretty awesome because we were like maybe 20 back then. So it was the first, I think, release where we were proud of, you know. And yeah, it went really good when when we when we released uh, the EP because it was a side project back then. But yeah, it, it exploded very, yeah, very well. So. So how did that how how did that come? Was that some th uh, some let's say yes? Was something happening in the band that let uh, that let this explode, or was it more the responses that you got from outside of the band? Yeah, I think we did our first show, and the responses were like very good. So we talked to each other and said, "Let's go on with this," because we were all from different bands back then. And um, yeah, Coronation was a side project, but after that, we stopped all the other bands and we went on with Coronation. Yeah. So um, that also means that a lot of musicians that had been in these other bands probably were kind of like pissed off, no? No, I think everyone uh, gave us their blessing. Uh, I think they all saw what we saw, that, that Carnation was like much higher quality than the other bands and that they all um, kind of realized like we have to let them go. Uh, so there's no bad blood anywhere in the other bands. So if I look at your discography, it's a bit weird, I find, to have uh, like the second release being a live recording from Japan. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we haven't said this yet, but you, you, you guys, yeah, I mean, you're from Belgium, right? So it's, it's well, maybe you were all again on, on your way to the metal days and <laughs> just stopped over in Japan. But no, what was happening there? There must be a nice story behind it, no? Uh, I think it's just coincidence. Yeah, we weren't planning on doing a Japan live release, but uh, we got a uh, the chance to play in Japan very early on. Uh, we didn't even release our very first full length album, Traveler of Abhorrence, and I don't know, the the whole show was being recorded, so we took the chance and we thought like, okay, we can do something with these recordings, and that's where uh, we came uh, and we came together and sent these recordings to like Rock Tribune magazine, which is pretty famous in Belgium. They released it on their own, like as, as an extra for the magazine. So that was pretty cool. And it was a big promo for the band as well. So it was pretty cool, yeah. I, I think by now you have been picked up by Listenable Records, maybe? or Season of, Season of Mist, yeah, yeah okay, one, one of those two, yeah. That would, would, have, would have been my second guess then, yeah, Season of Mist, yeah. So, uh, so how did that come? Um, I mean, I know that they have, have a hand for picking out, um, yeah, let's say pro promising younger bands as well. So, um, do you have any personal connections to that label that you had before, or um, did they just yeah. approach you? Um, our manager and booker was working at Season of Mist back in the in the days, and um, yeah, he sent the recordings to his boss, and yeah, that's how it went. Yeah. And you you happy with the label? All good? Yeah, yeah all good, all fine. We're doing, uh, I think, the third album next year, sometime with Season of Mist. So, yeah. Yeah, what can we expect then from the next album? Will it be in line with the previous releases or have you refined the sound in a certain direction? I, I think um, it's a bit more melodical but also a little bit more heavy uh, at the same time. Uh, we focused a lot more on our leads, uh, which was kind of a weakness in our previous records, I think. 
Um, but all in all, I think like fans of the previous uh, records will still be a fan of this record. Yeah. I think so. So what, what would be the boundaries for, for the band in terms of your, your sound and songwriting? What, what are the things that you definitely will never include? To stay maybe true to the sound of yeah, from, from the death metal uh, era? We, yeah, we want to stay true to the, the death metal area, but we try to put in some modern elements, but not too modern, you know? So it's still old school death metal, but yeah, we don't like the term old school death metal, just death metal is, is cool for us. <laughs> But yeah, if we try to. And the HM2 will never. No. The HM2 will never go. <laughs> so so that that's a that's a solid one that that will always stay there. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see you guys playing live. What can I expect of the show? It's gonna be pretty warm out there. That's <laughs> what you can expect. It's gonna be pretty brutal as well. Uh, we're gonna give everything. That's for sure. Uh, Got a couple of uh, tracks from the Chapel of Warren's album, a couple from Where Dead Lies, but also a pretty new one, which is called uh, Stange of Dead. It's our newest single. We just released a couple of weeks ago, so it was pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> I hope that the audience goes wild, even, even though yesterday was very wild already, yeah, so I, I hope I hope they still have enough stamina left, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, uh, yeah, I won't keep you guys for longer, but uh, we still have one question that you need to, need to answer. The show is called What's Metal? What is metal for you guys? Is, is there a definition or description for it? That's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's just about uh, doing whatever you want. Um, as long as it's heavy, <laughs> then it's metal, I guess.